Yo, let me show y'all something real quick, bro. Look. 5.33 a.m. 5.33 a.m., bro. I was just urged to hop out of bed. I was just meditating, tapping into certain stuff, and they were like, yo, tell the people this stuff. I look at my phone, 5.33 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Five deals with expansion, and then three deals with, like, the energy that's moving through you. So expanding on the energy that's moving through you. And then on some other shit, too, right? You see three, right? Three represents Tefna or some magician mythology shit. Why is that so important? Tefna literally deals with time. So I'm a chis, I'm a chis, I'm a chis, you know what I'm saying? Look, it's your boy Dot from Dot Me Now Coaching and Entertainment for coaching links down below. All my links are down below. You know what I'm saying? Readings, Patreon, you know what I'm saying? Discord, all that, bro. Go, go, go F with your boy. For the Patreon people, I'm going to pick some cards for y'all. But YouTube people, y'all got to hear this message also, bro. So, I was just meditating, and, like, I was just being taught a little bit more about myself and why I came to Earth and some of the things that I do. And some of the people that came around was, like, the GFL Time Council, which I didn't even fully know was a thing, but, like, it makes sense because if I'm a guardian of time and I'm a timekeeper, because if y'all don't know, I am one of those. I made a video about that. It's, uh, look at my video called Where I'm At My Spiritual Journey. I talk about that shit, right? But... Obviously, I'm not the only fucking one, so I have to work with other motherfuckers, right? So I, I learned out who the council leaving is, you know what I'm saying? It's mainly composed of Octorians, like Octorian angels, Alpha Centauri angels, I think also. I think it's the angelic ones. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. They, it's confirmed. Um, Because they're at portals, so they could just come through and tell me real quick. They're like not in their head like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then there's also the uh, Pleiadian angelic council, right? Well, they it played in angelic people, right? Now, here's how it works, right? The Octorians, right? They create the timelines, and then they help keep them on track. And they help keep them on track with the help of the Alpha Centauri Jones and the Palladian people. See, the Alpha Centauri, right? Uh, they like, they're like, uh, they're like the... They like kind of like guard time more in the sense of like because a timekeeper is different than a guardian of time in a sense. Because the timekeeper just keeps stuff on track. The guardian actually fights, like, imagine that, like, there's, like, fucking, like, time threats and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was learning about that shit, too. About all the different kinds of threats that go just beyond fucking reptilians. You got fucking time. Because I was learning about, like, the fucking, like, sorcerers and stuff like that, right? And then also the fucking time people, which also deals with kind of the sorcery shit. But, like, yeah, all, like, some Doctor Strange. If y'all ever watch Doctor Strange, it's like that. That shit is real. That shit really be real, bro. So with that being said, right? Um Yeah, with 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 that shit being said, the Alpha Centauri ones, right? So so let's say the Octorian is looking at the timeline, right? That they created. They're like, okay, we created it like this, but it's getting thrown off track because this motherfucker is destroying too much shit. Time motherfuckers who fight shit, y'all niggas go inside. And by the way, if y'all niggas wonder why the fuck I, I always wear this fucking black hoodie and black pants, understand that I, I have a lot of black pants and I fucking love this black hoodie, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, anyway, like I was fucking saying, the, the Alpha Centauri, they come in and, and they'll, they'll fuck a nigga up on some time shit, you know what I'm saying? And then the Pleiadian dudes, like, they help to heal the timeline, you know? Now, the thing is, they fight, like, the, the, the Pleiadian angels fight also, you know what I'm saying? The Alpha Centauri can heal also and stuff like that, but, like, that's that's how they were kind of, like, showing it to me, you know what I'm saying? The Pleiadian ones tend to, like, heal it to, to, to heal the shit. Because the thing is, right, so, and the thing is, too, some Pleiadian angels, like, because, like, I know when I was in the angelic plane right i would about like when i first got there i would bounce between alpha centauri octaurus and pleiades you know what i'm saying eventually residing in octaurus you know and then like i would work with the other planes and stuff like that but i mainly stayed in octaurus at that point in time you know but um yeah so having those memories kind of makes sense that they're part of the council and stuff like that right but here's their message because they were coming to me explaining all this shit they're like yo tell them this important message that we have for them and when i got the message i was kind of like because like because people could think i should be making this shit up nigga i'd be surprised with these messages i ain't gonna lie i'd be like you sure they'd be like yeah you know what i'm saying and then and then when they say get out of bed right now and do it they gave me the energy for the shit you know what i'm saying it's 5 33 well it's, it's 5 40 <laughs> it's 5 44 a.m now huh it was 5 33 now it's 5 44 huh Huh. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I ain't brushed my teeth yet. It's cold as shit back here. That's why I always got this shit on, you know what I'm saying? But it's cold as shit back here early morning. You know what I'm saying? Here is the message. The message was that understand that the timelines are actually on track right now. However, some of you guys need to learn how to keep your timeline on track because sometimes shit do be getting wobbly, but they were saying that when shit get wobbly, it's kind of supposed to get wobbly. Like for example, right? Let's say that like 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 your timeline be on track, right? But you, you don't always know that shit. So, like, sometimes in your life, you be chilling, you think shit all good. Then you start worrying about shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if you knew that your timeline was on track, you wouldn't really be worrying like that. But it's kind of good that you don't know your timeline's on track. Because when you start worrying, right, it makes you do certain things that puts your timeline back on track. Let's say inside your timeline, right, you're supposed to become a certain kind of person. You know? Okay, and by the way, next video is going to be about how to completely transform yourself, like a, like the keys to actually doing it. But anyway, let's say you're, you're supposed to become a certain kind of person inside of your life, right? Now, your timeline could be on track to becoming that. However, at this specific period of time, you're kind of starting to slack and stuff like that. Because you're slacking, you start to worry. Therefore, you get on your shit now, and then you eventually become what you're supposed to be. You see, so they were explaining, like... When it comes to keeping your timeline on track, you really shouldn't worry like that. And you really, because like, because because the whole, the, this message is coming to them when you don't worry. Because some of y'all may be worrying a bit too much. I may be thinking that shit's getting dangerous or some other, you know what I'm saying? Or that you're just about to fail. They're like, nah, bro, your shit is good. You know what I'm saying? Your shit, your shit is, I, bro, I don't like how they, that, that shit weird, how this one going down. I don't, that's just weird to me. But anyway, fuck it. Anyway, actually, I'm going to fix that. Alright, I fixed it as best as I could for myself. But anyway, so like I was saying, right, when it comes to this whole, uh, yeah, they don't want you to worry like that, you know? They're like, yo, chill on the worry and stuff like that, da, da, da. However, they're telling you that also when you do catch yourself worrying, it's actually kind of okay because, like, it's pretty much let yourself, when, when the worry pops up, you know what I'm saying? Be like, okay, let me stop worrying type shit, but also understand, like, okay, I worried for some kind of a reason. Let me actually put some action to changing my shit up real quick, you know what I'm saying? That was pretty, that's like the basic message, you know, they want you to understand that your timeline is on track, and they also want you to like, they want you to actually start kind of observing your timeline, like, don't just like focus heavily on like, oh, what's inside my timeline, but like, if you ever feel drawn to like, you know, think about like, damn, am I really on track right now? Or if you start thinking like, what do I want to do type shit, you know what I'm saying? Peer into your timeline. And here's what I mean by that, right? Think about what you're doing right now and how, and also think about where what you're doing right now is going to lead you. So be so for example, let's say that like, you know, you're working out, you're eating healthy and stuff like that. You know, you're getting good rest and stuff. You could, you could look at your timeline and see, okay, I'm, I'm on track to having a nice and healthy body, you know? Now, let's say you're eating junk food and you're not working now. You're getting a horrible sleep. You could, you could peer into your timeline and see, okay, I'm on track to, you know, becoming unhealthy and, like, overweight and stuff like that, you know? So, with that being said, once you peer into your timeline and you see the negative reality, you could be like, okay, time to change that, you know what I'm saying? And then you can look into the timeline of, okay, what does the me that's healthy like, you tap into that and say, like, hey, what does that person look like? And, like, what, what do they do to become healthy and stuff like that? You peer inside that timeline. Then you literally hop into that timeline and start changing stuff. Because you can literally look at, the, you can look at the timeline where you went from being fat and overweight and stuff like that and unhealthy to when you became, like, you know, where you had, like, a decent body weight. You know what I'm saying? You're healthy. You feel good. You can literally look at it where... When you go from zero to a hundred, you can literally see that. You know what I'm saying? You can see the person that's always been a hundred. You can see the one that stays the zero. And you can see go from zero to a hundred. You can see literally all the timelines. You know what I'm saying? And you can literally see which one you're on. So with that being said, right? They want you to also look at your timeline. You do that by looking at simply like, because you can look at your timeline like from the past, present, and future, which they want you to do that also. But like, like, like your guys do want you to tap into your past lives. You know what I'm saying? They want you to also consider. 
what's going on in your present, and also where you want to go, you know? Now, the past life shit may be harder, how, so that's why they're like, okay, you don't got to focus on that shit, like, too, too much if it's, if it's, like, too hard type shit. The ones who get drawn to the past life shit, don't tap into that shit. If you're not drawn to that shit like that, it's all good. Focus on the present moment, what you got going on right the fuck now, you know what I'm saying? Think about, okay, where do I want to go? You know what I'm saying? And am I on track to actually getting there? Am I, is, is what I'm doing right now actually getting me there? And if it's not, how do I actually get myself there? You can actually literally see these things inside of your head and stuff like that. So, um, anything else? Yes. Have fun. Like, have fun and do things that you love. You know that you're on, you know that you're on the right timeline. And you know that you're like fully on track when you're not, cause like I got no, no, you, know, you know how I said that when you worry, it's okay, cause you're still like the like when you worry, right? Your timeline is on track, but the worry is what's helping your shit actually get back on track because you could have been slacking, but because you're worrying, you hop back on your shit, and now your shit stays on track. However, you only, however, you only started worrying because your shit might have started getting off track. So you'll know that your shit is like completely on track when you don't really worry like that and stuff like that. But at the same time, if you start thinking, oh my God, I'm worrying so much, don't start thinking I'm really about to fall off my timeline. Don't think like that. You know, like it, it's weird how this shit works, but like, like, hopefully y'all understand it, because I'm understanding it. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I understand it pretty well. It's like, because they, they, they literally show me, like, <laughs> they'll show me, like, a person who's, like, living their life a certain kind of way that's kind of, like, not on track with their timeline. And then they'll, like, literally, like, show, like, how it's like you'll see a being, right? come in for a certain period of time it's like they could calculate right when they could come in how long they could come in where they come in through and then they come in for a little bit right and then they tell you something about your timeline right and then it's like for you it just looks like you have a quick thought real quick that pops inside your mind right but that's the bing that pops in for a little bit then it just like zoom out and then they leave you with that thought and you're like holy shit you start worrying and stuff like you know what i'm saying and it's like they we're even saying, oh my God, you should be worried. They're just saying, hey, bro, you might want to do X, Y, Z because your timeline looking like that. You know what I'm saying? They just tell you some like bit of information and then that may cause you to start worrying. But that worry is kind of like a you thing. Like they didn't really like, they, they didn't, it's, like they, they could have understood he's going to start worrying after this. They could have, or they could have just simply understood this is going to help him to get on track with his timeline or her on track with her timeline. They, they may understand that. They not mean they not, they may not even understand they're gonna start worrying though. Like they might they may they may not even know like it's gonna be like straight like worrying. You know what I'm saying? Now they probably do, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So most of the time they do. But like <laughs> but like they're doing it to help you. But like there are instances where it's like they're just saying, I'm just gonna help this person, and then the worry is just a result of helping that person. And they didn't even think in their head they're going to start worrying. But, like, they're just thinking I'm trying to help this person, you know? But, um, yeah, so, you know you're fully on track, though, when, you, when you're able to just, like, relax and, like, feel like all that love. Like, do the shit that you love. Do shit that makes you have fun. Just feel happy and joyful. Because when you're in those states, you don't even think about the whole, am I on track on my timeline shit? Da -da. You don't even think about that. You're not worried about that shit, you know? Because, like, you're just, because you feel like you already are. You only start worrying when you're not feeling that good. You feel uninspired. You feel bored. You feel anxious. That's when you start thinking, am I doing the right thing? When you are happy and joyful and loving and shit, you don't think about that shit. So try to get inside those states more. When you live from those states, you'll naturally be on track with your timeline. Because the thing is, your timeline is naturally supposed to help you ascend and stuff like that. And as you ascend, you feel these higher emotions. So if you're, feeling, if you're in those higher states, then that means that you're probably on track with your timeline. And when you feel the lower stuff, you're still on track with your timeline. However, you could have been slipping up a bit, and this is helping you to get back on your timeline fully, you know? So, is there anything else? Uh, yes, there actually is. Be patient, too. Some of y'all may want to, oh, this is actually aligning with the angel. Re yo, I have the angel reading on my Patreon. I guess I might post it on my YouTube. But, yo, definitely check that. For the Patreon people, I, I, don't, I don't know. We're going to see. They might go on YouTube. So, definitely check Patreon for this reading, for the card reading for this, that that aligns with this video. But, 
the edge of rigging on my Patreon, that shit aligns with this with this part right here specifically too. Bro, be patient. I mean, at this point, you don't gotta really take out the agent reading because you, know, you already kind of know what the message is. But like, be patient too, because some of y'all, some of y'all, right? Y'all just worried because stuff isn't happening as fast as you wanted to, and it's like, dude, chill. Like, things. It's like it's. Oh, look at what you look at. I look down, right? Boy, five, 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 five. Bro, I'm catching all the Jones, it seemed like. I just looked over at the time, you know what I'm saying? To make sure, like, to see, like, what time it is and shit. And that shit said 555. 555. Five, five, five. You know what I'm saying? This actually deals with things speeding up a lot of times. Like, because fives deals with, like, expansion and stuff like that. And that actually deals with things like speeding up as time in your life. So this video may help, may help speed some shit up. Who knows? But in the background, things are forming for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when you say that you want to do certain things... And you also are really taking action towards it. You know what I'm saying? Things are forming that you can't always see. Like, for example, let's say that you're trying to, like, uh, let's say you're trying to, like, get something. Let's say you're trying to get your name out there, right? Like, okay, let's, I'll even use myself for an example, right? Let's say I post a video, right? And it doesn't really get that many views. You know what I'm saying? The video is always on my channel. So that way, when somebody else comes to my channel, Maybe like three months from now, they could start watching all these videos on my channel. And the video that didn't really get that many views could still benefit that one person. And as a result of seeing that video, they may be like, oh my God, I want to book with this person real quick. Like, like, for, like, even though like my video may not get that many views, the people that do see it, it could create value towards the people that do see it. And then also later on down the line, people may start may start seeing that video. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like the right people see that video to the point where it's like they're the ones that, that really got to connect with me type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like that video may have, may have been so out the ordinary or just maybe something that most people didn't really need like that. However, that one person really needed that shit and no one else is posting that kind of video or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's an example of some shit. You know, there's also like when you actually do magic and stuff like that, when you work magic and stuff, shit definitely be happening inside the background. You know what I'm saying? Certain thoughts are being transferred to certain people. Certain people are being drawn to you and repelled from you. Like there's certain stuff going on in the background that you really just can't fully see like that all the time. Sometimes you actually can see it, not going to lie, you know, but um, if you really have those type of spiritual senses. But a lot of times you can't see what the fuck's going on, you know what I'm saying? But stuff really do be happening. So they're saying to like be, be patient, bro. Be patient. And that's that's some shit that even I struggle with. I'm always Mr. Speed up the timeline, which is why when I heard this message, I was like, huh? You sure that everything's like really on track like that? Which is when they start explaining the whole worry shit. Because even though I don't really be worrying, but I do be thinking I want to speed my shit up. I'd be like, yo, okay. Like, I think this this shit's pretty good right now, but let's let's speed some shit up. And then they'd be like, they'd be like, we gonna help, we gonna help some shit speed up. But like, calm your ass down though. Because the thing is like, when you speed your shit up sometimes, you can't even see that your shit speeding up. You'll just be, it's just like, 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 your shit may be stagnant as fuck for, like, a whole week. Then, like, the next week, shit just start picking up OD fucking fast. And it's like, while you was resting for that, while, while shit wasn't happening for that whole week, it was preparing you for, like, the next week. Because all this shit happening at once, and you're going to need certain lessons that you learned over the week of doing nothing. And you're going to need the energy and all this other, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it'd be, it be shit like that. It's, it's weird how this shit be working with time, but I've been honest. Because a lot of people think that time is just like, oh, you speed it up like this and slow it down like this. Nigga, there's, like, a John that goes like this. There's another John you can turn like this or like this. There's another fucking John. They show me, like, they literally show me all these circles and turning this shit to turning that shit and turning this shit. And how you can fucking slow down time to eventually speed it back up and fucking speed up time to eventually slow it back down. Like, there's a whole bunch of different times those people don't be realizing. You know what I'm saying? I've been understanding the time very well because I this is the shit I just done with my past lives. You know what I'm saying? So I will teach about time and stuff like that but for now just be patient okay that's why they're also saying this whole stuff about the timeline being on track you know what i'm saying so i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna take this message too because i've been trying to speak my shit up and i still i, I still go, am going to continue but i'm gonna do it in different ways I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the whole slow down to speed it up kind of thing too because i've been learning about that method and it's like, there's like certain like slingshot reverberation effects. You know, how like when you like, if I pull a rubber band back, right, it's going to go like, mm, and then partially bounce back and forward a little bit also. It's like a weird, like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like sit, it's like sit speeds up to like go back a little bit, then like go forward a little bit also. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's weird shit like that, you know? On like some slinky shit too, like the more you stretch it out, it's going to come back together faster. If I just do this little shit, it goes like, uh-uh. But if it's like, this is like, 
You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's this weird reverberation time effects to certain shit that you can't always see. And that's important too because when you cause you you cause you be affecting your time like that sometimes. So shit will slow down when it's about to speed up, or shit will speed up and then eventually slow down again. And you don't know why the fuck that's happening. But understand that your shit is on track. Just be patient, let shit happen, and enjoy your life. Focus on enjoying your life. If you worry about enjoying your life, staying peaceful, happy, joyful, loving, then you'll naturally stay on track and stuff like that. When you start worrying and shit like that, that shit kind of puts you off track because the more because if you let your worry grow and you focus on all the bad shit you create more of the bad shit you know what i'm saying so that's why they want to say like don't worry so much when you worry be like holy shit i'm worrying let me focus on the let me focus on what i actually want let me focus on what i actually want to create let me focus on that type of shit you know what i'm saying that helps that will get you right back on your timeline because we may not have been focused on that shit at all which is what made you start worrying and now you're like holy shit let me focus back on that shit you know what i'm saying then you keep that focus inside your mind at all times you then you live from that place then because you because you're doing things that actually aligns with your timeline you start actually feeling happy you know what i'm saying so you start thinking what's gonna make me feel good right now that's not on like some pleasure shit but actually feeling good and, and like you act and like you accomplish some shit you know what i'm saying what's gonna help me feel that love and that peace start worrying about these kinds of things then you're gonna be good you're gonna be good so um i'm about to do the card reading now so catch me on patreon for that but uh, uh aside from that it's been your boy Don from Diamond. I caught you get entertainment. My coaching links are down below. Discord's down below. Patreon's down below. I love you all. Catch my next video. Peace.